Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We recently had a fan of the channel suggest we talk about our favorite looking Ooh. video game consoles of all time. Now this is all about the sexy. It's not about the best consoles of all time. It's the ones that when we see them, we're like, oh, I want to play that. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking peanut butter Oreo by Back Pocket Brewing Company. It's a dessert stout brewed with peanut butter and Oreos. Sounds delicious. You know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about the sexiest video game consoles of all time. All right, here we go. This should be a fun one. This is in no particular order. It's going to be fairly loose. We're just going to kind of throw out there things that come off the top of our head. J Chip Show asked us to talk about the coolest looking video game consoles of all time. We're like, hey, we never really thought about that. Yeah, it's tough because growing up, you know, I was always taught, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. And that's kind of what mm -hmm. we're going to have to do with these consoles because we're yeah. not going to be talking about the games, the hardware, yeah. the controller. It's just... It, what how it looks yeah yeah so kind of just one that comes to mind and it the reason it comes to mind is because it's one of my least favorite consoles probably to play and collect for for that matter the atari 26 i was just gonna say the atari with the wood grain yes, the wood yes. paneling dude. so it's that version yes, the one with yes. the wood paneling i don't know what it is but i'm a sucker for uh you know the, the movie the problem child that wood paneled wagoneer that the oh, dad drives in wagon, <laughs> it's, well it's kind of like a station wagon but it's also like a jeep it's like a hybrid Ooh. yeah so and it has wood paneling wood paneling it's always been awesome. like my dream car, I think. And there's something about the wood paneling on the Atari that is so 80s. It feel, just feels like the era. I'm not a big fan of the console, but every time I see the, the, the Atari 2600 with the wood grain, I'm like, wow. It's, that is a sexy It piece. is super sexy, and I totally agree because I don't really like playing for it. I don't really collect for it. It just kind of sits on the shelf because it looks cool. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a great pick. I think I'm going to have to go with the original Xbox. I just think it's it's kind of bulky, it's kind of big. Yeah. The, the controller, you know, is big, but it's just super cool because it just has that big X on yeah, the top. Yeah, it's weird because at the time I had a PS2. I think you grew up with the PS2 as well and not much. I, well, I know you had the PS2, but I don't think you had much exposure to the Xbox no. as a kid, so neither did I. At that time, I don't know why kids are like this, or at least I was. It was like, ooh, Xbox, <laughs> PS2 is better. <laughs> now I don't really care. I just play whatever has good games. But one thing about the Xbox, and I don't even know if this is fair to bring up. So one, I agree with you that it looks awesome, but it has, in my opinion, one of the coolest startup screens ever. Ooh, so you're bringing startup screens that into this? That doesn't, that doesn't know, count. I, I mean, it's I, cool. It's not fair to the Atari because it doesn't have that option, but when that thing comes on, mm, 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 mwah. not only does it look good, but after you press the power button, it looks even better. Well, you know what looks even better too when you put the, press the power button is the GameCube. Dude, the startup screen for the GameCube yep. is awesome. <laughs> Plus the GameCube itself, I think is super sexy because it's just a sleek square. Yep. And on top of that, there's a handle. They made it so you could take it over to friends' house. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was a portable home console. What other console has a handle? Yeah, man? I. It's awesome. I think it. I think it's in a, an exclusive club. I think it's just the GameCube that's in that club. And do you remember taking your N64 over to friends' houses, fumbling around with the controllers or putting it in a grocery sack? Now, that being said, truthfully, I've never seen a kid walking down the street holding a GameCube by the handle. But, but it's just cool you that you can. can. Yeah. You can carry it around like a briefcase and it's <laughs> awesome. Every time I see the handle, I just want to grab it. And it's a, it's a cool looking console. That's what I need to do for work is hollow one of those out and use it as my briefcase. You put just lunch in it. That'd be just carry, so carry it to meetings. Be like, hey guys, <laughs> press the button. Here, Whee. open it up and get my pen out. A little pad of paper. Ready to go. That's <laughs> it. That's all you can fit in there because it's a small guy. So yeah, that is, that is cool. And uh, it has some color variants that make it I yes. think, even cool, which I don't know again if that's fair to say or not, but you know, it's got the indigo purple, it's got the silver. I remember back in the day thinking the all black one was just so hot. It's I, sleek. The purple one now though is still probably my favorite. It's, it's really cool. But what's crazy is there's a lot of Nintendo consoles that have the different colors, like the N64, mm -hmm. and I don't think that's a cool looking console. I mean, it's it's ish. It's, this is hard because I like the consoles, you yeah. know? Yeah. So it's hard to just be like, what's cool looking? Yeah, I think um, another one that stands out to me is the Dreamcast has always popped for me. Ooh, interesting. It's always kind of reminded me of something from outer space. That top lid kind of resembles a ship from Star Wars or something well, like that. that. And you turn it on and that little triangle illuminates orange. There was just something about it at the time and I still feel 
that was just cutting edge and so futuristic and uh, you know rounded the edges. I really liked it. That's an interesting pick. I mean, it's cool looking. And it's just... a great startup screen. <laughs> People are going to be like, that doesn't count, that doesn't count, <laughs> but we're going to throw it in there. I just don't have that much experience with the Dreamcast. I mean, I do now, but growing up, I didn't yeah. really know it existed. It's kind of cool. Um, you know what's really cool, but I never want to own it. I never will collect for it, and I just, I don't even want to play it. <laughs> but I think it looks really cool, which is so weird to say. Yeah. It's the Virtual Boy. Yeah. It just looks cool but i never want to have to deal with it yeah, you know what i mean it's a pretty bad console but it does look really neat. it just looks like yeah. like you're like you're in a submarine or something yeah it's, yeah it's freaking really cool yeah that is neat this is kind of fun it's more difficult than i thought it would be you know one thing that may be controversial but i've always loved the look and thought it was way cooler than the pal territories blow us up in the comment section i know somebody's gonna get pissed i've always thought the north american super nintendo looked Ooh. better I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I love purple. I mean, that's the Got G purple. Yes, dude. Uh, I love purple, too. But yeah, I always thought that console was really cool. I don't know what, why. Love the PS3, the original fat one. Oh, yes. That, the fat one's super cool. The way that font looks across the top, dude, that ribbon. For some odd reason, that font reminds me of the original Spider-Man movies. Well, I think... It was like that, a marketing it, thing? I don't know, but that was the same font they used, I think, in those yeah. movies. Yeah. Yeah, super cool. It makes yeah. me want to play Spider-Man on the fat PS3. Dude, the <laughs> PS3 is awesome. Don't listen to Pixel Games Go Out. <laughs> I'll never collect for the PlayStation 3 because I hate it. Oh, this is kind of fun. I'm trying to think of any others that really jump I mean, out of me. I, I honestly, it's hard for me to think of a console that just looks stupid. You know, like looking back at it, I mean, there's not much to the PS1, but I don't hate how it looks. I mean, and the PS2 is super simple. Yeah. But I mean, it's a console, yeah. you know, and it, there's awesome things on it. There is a modern console though that I think looks really cool just because of what it is, and it's the Switch. Yeah. I think it looks really cool because it, you know, it's a dock, so it is a console, but then you can take the tablet out. It's really cool. I don't know because like the Wii U, you know, has the tablet and stuff, but it doesn't look as cool. Yeah. I just think the marketing and the design behind the Switch looks really cool. Yeah, we could go on about this forever because it's it's tough for me to think of consoles that I just you know like the I guess the toaster NES. What is that? You know when it came out, I'm thinking people probably were like a square. Is that a an appliance? Is that, I mean? But it's I, a great system. Can it you know? cook my dinner for me? Oh, it plays video games. It's weird because it's one of my favorite consoles ever made, but it kind of just looks dumb. I mean, I've got a nostalgia for it, but it's definitely not one of the coolest looking consoles. Um, I think PS One's pretty blah. PS2 is fairly blah. I mean, I love the PS2. Yeah, I love the PS2 too. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. Yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. But yeah, I'd, I don't know. I think we could round it out and kind of finish it off with seeing the Atari, the GameCube, Ooh, the Dreamcast, the Xbox, Xbox, it's Switch. Like, it's like half the console. It's five, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. That's there you five. Go. That's our five favorite looking video game consoles it's, right there. It's so tough. Like before we sat down and filmed, I was like, how am I gonna pick? How am I gonna decide? Because I I it's hard to take away what you feel about your consoles based on the games and stuff yeah. and just focusing on yep. how it looks. It's so hard. But let's talk about something that's easy and that's this beer. What do you think of the Peanut Butter Oreo by Back Pocket Brewing? So we have been meaning to review this for probably a few weeks, but we keep drinking, drinking it. <laughs> this beer is kind of tough to find and peanut butter stouts are kind of becoming the new thing, yes. right? This is a very, very good beer. There's a reason it's taken us so long to be able to hang on to a can to do a review on. It's like a dessert. It's so good. The, the peanut butter aspect is so creamy. Yep. It's so good. And I'm not a huge fan of Oreos, but the Oreo taste in this is is kind of minimal, but you do get that sweetness from like the cream. And it. I don't know, it's really good. Can I ask you something? What? There's something wrong with you. Yeah. You don't you, like Oreos? Oreos are disgusting, dude. Give me chips of Oreo all day. <laughs> Chewy oh Jeff my Oreo. god, I want to die right now. <laughs> but anyways, no, this uh, this beer is fantastic, and it's it's strange that someone would like it so much if they don't like Oreos, but whoops. I love this beer. I think it's really good. There's another beer from them that we have that we're going to be doing here fairly yes, soon. if we don't drink it. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is good as well. They did a great job with this. It's definitely not top of the heap, but it's up there for sure. So good. Good job, Back Pocket, and good job, game companies, for designing cool-looking yeah. consoles. And because I feel like... At first glance, when you were a kid, it is based on how it looks. I There's like, a lot you know? of that. I think so. And I think that probably, you know, us bringing up Xbox, so us being PlayStation kids, they had to do something to get that consumer to, to go over that way. And it might have been when kids walked through stores and were like, damn. Because it looks way cooler than the PS2. Yes, it does. I mean, the PS2 is just freaking... We would probably both debate to the death that the PS2 is the better console. 
but as far as the window shopping, the Xbox crushes it. Yeah, it just looks freaking badass. Yeah. So anyway, J Chip, thank you so much for the video suggestion. Um, and we, we get those from time to time. A lot of them for our uh, uh, Desert Island mini series, and we always appreciate that. We've got a list of episode ideas, and anytime you guys suggest one, we throw it in there. Yes. And we'll get to it when we get to it channel ain't going anywhere anytime <laughs> soon we always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel in the comment section below let us know what are your three Ooh. favorite looking consoles of all time we'd love to discuss it debate it and fight a little bit with you if fighting's your thing it's not really ours we're pretty peaceful dudes <laughs> we'll see you next time right here on gaming off the grid this is definitely top three peanut butter beers we've oh, had yeah, so far it's probably so good. it's this definitely not top of the 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 uh tower Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. Today we have, or today we have, no, nope, no. Nope. Today we do have. <laughs> uh, he's gonna learn how to talk. If you're gonna do YouTube as much as we do, I think we need to learn how to talk. Structure talk by <laughs> a sentence. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking peanut butter Oreo by Back Pocket Brewing. It's a dessert stab root of peanut butters and Oreos. All right, peanut butters. <laughs> peanut butters. More than one, units. <laughs> increments. There's, yeah, there's more than one increments in peanut butter. <laughs> That's a good point. Peanut butter Oreo. Hmm.